so I have a few more questions about your court, if that's okay. Certainly. What would you like to know? I guess the Supreme Court is a pretty important court, right? Can another court change or overturn a decision or order of a Supreme Court judge? Another good question. Supreme Court orders can't be altered by the Provincial Court. Only the Court of Appeal for BC or the Supreme Court of Canada can modify or overturn decisions of the Supreme Court judges. And how many judges work in the Supreme Court of BC? The Supreme Court Act specifies that there will be 86 judges plus the Chief Judge and Assistant Chief Judge. There's always a number of supernumerary or halftime judges as well. Now, these Supreme Court judges sit in eight judicial districts. While the judges may work in a court near their home, they are also required to travel to other districts throughout the year to hear cases. You'll also find that there are Supreme Court masters who deal primarily with pretrial matters in chambers. Is chambers like a trial? No. Chambers matters are much shorter and usually last from a few minutes to a few hours. There are no witnesses in chambers as all evidence is filed by using a written document called an affidavit. This affidavit sets out the evidence and is sworn by the person who's giving that evidence. If you have to prepare for a chambers hearing in family law matter, you could visit the website www.courttips.ca to understand the process and to see what the judges expect in your application. So do the masters make the final decision in the case? No, in most cases, the judge or master in chambers will only make an interim order and will not make the final decision. That final decision will be made by a Supreme Court judge at trial. How do you address a master? I bet they get a special name too. Yeah. <laughs> they do. Masters are addressed as master before their surname outside of court and as your honor in court. <laughs>